Hey, what's up guys? It's Langer. All right, it's Guild Expedition. And one thing that I notice is a lot of guildmates will um, initiate, they will initiate rallies against relay towers. And what you will get is you will get some bad rally lead. Uh, losing or winning with lots of losses against relay towers so one thing that i want to show you guys is this is what you guys should do all right a lot of people are saying yeah obviously langer we need we need to scout the, we need to scout so that we know what we need to send so it's not only what um what we're scouting what i'm going to show you guys is what this is what i want you to do all right i'm gonna send my leader i'm gonna send a cav march let's go what kind of cav march am i gonna send i'm gonna send a bad one uh there we go and i'm gonna send i guess this guy there we go all right i'm gonna send twenty thousand t1 there we go i'm not gonna send any um I'm not gonna send any buffers, but this is what I'm gonna do. So I've scouted once, I'm hitting the target, and I'm scouting again. What does that tell you guys? Obviously, I'm testing the front line as if it was a normal castle. So the thing you gotta look at is you look at this. Okay, this is infantry, lots of range, some cav. <sighs> this is a bad one. I hope it's not a cav front. Uh, but let's see Let's see. So I send this. Okay, so basically uh, I need to look at the tier 3 1 1 9 6 5 uh, 6 4 5 4 1 2 look at this All right, so we're gonna look at what's changed It looks like oh, it looks like it's a cat in front, right? Uh, 4 1 2 and 6 4 5 were the same numbers Yup so the inf, the inf has gotten down. So I'm going to send a cav blast to this. There you go. Now, this instance, we know that obviously you don't want to send range. Obviously, because there's a lot of inf and there's not many uh, cav units. But then it's, uh, it's kind of like, do you want to send inf? Because usually you'd want to send inf because you don't get countered. Uh, by that many cav, but uh, seeing that we tested the front line, I'm gonna send cav, and I'm gonna send a little bit of in front line just to make sure it uh, tanks a little bit of the range units. All right, let's set the rally from my main, and here we go, guys. Langer one is rallying the relay tower. There we go. Um. Oh, am I lagging? No, 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 no. All right, so I'm sending obviously a a calf blast, but I'm sending also fifteen thousand. I mean, it's a buffer. Uh, you might say it's too much, but I'm I want more. I want more than one. Let's say one attack from. Um, it might be too much anyway. Uh, but I decided to send fifteen thousand T two from. I think Langer four. There we go. That's where I sent from. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to put my pack attack on. You know what, guys? I will I will change that. Give me a second. I will change that from one account. There we go. Uh, where's Langer 4? Oh, no, I closed the account. Do I have time? I think I do. I got one minute. All right, let's open up a an extra <clears throat> blue stack window. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send back and the reason why i do that with langer 4 it's because i got like i will do that from my main so it's on my phone all right let's open this i got 40 seconds 40 seconds it's opening um the reason why i want to do that from langer 4 is because i got like 220 pack attack so it's a it's a huge amount Oh, there we go. I got 20, 25 seconds. I will wait until the last second to do this. <laughs> um, I might not have time. I will have time. Got 15 seconds, 10 seconds. Oh, boy. No, no, I don't have time. <laughs> All right. We're going to walk. 
So I'm gonna speed up the troops from the um, rest of the guild. There we go. I had to uh, I had to reset a couple times because I had, I was having issues with my laptop. There we go. 15 seconds. All right. So let's see what happens on my main. You guys are not seeing this, but I'm gonna put on my speed gear from Langer One. Where are you? There you go. And we're walking in speed gear. Let's put on the Cav Blast set, which is kind of a mix. It's not optimal, but this is what I've been working on for a long time. I uh, gotta work on this eventually, gotta work on that. These pieces are gonna change, and this also. I wanna swap these for a Rowdy Resolve and Lunar um, Boomerang, but I'm not there yet. All right, we're walking, we're walking. How much time we got? A minute, basically. As I showed, guys, um, this should be, and it is, and in front. So if we go back to the report. Uh, as I showed, that's a lot of inf. There's a still a big amount of range, uh, but by doing the testing of the front line, and remember, guys, this is not like a darkness. It does not replenish. It, you could solo it down with, <laughs> with T two if you want it. Uh, it's not the thing you want to do, but you could do it. You could do it. It's uh, it's just like a, a generic castle or just like a fort where it's being reinforced. There's no wall. Yeah, it's different. Like a, it's not like a castle where it's a fort. It's just like a fort that's being reinforced. And if people don't reinforce it after uh, you hit it, it's just gonna go down. So, all right, with 40 seconds to go. Uh, basically, what I want to show you is we've I've done that a couple times. Uh, just like this one, uh, I did the test. It's it's a bad one where it's basically the same configuration, uh, but usually people will send inf against that. I did the test and I know it. I, I knew it was a uh, an in front line in failing. So um, that's that's how you can uh, get more points, more kills, and reduce your losses by figuring out the front line. Sure, it's gonna cost you like a couple T1s. Just to figure it out, but, and there we go. I mean, you guys are expecting, obviously, a win from this. It's an easy one, but how easy is it? It's a lot easier when you figure out the front line. There we go. Uh, in wedge, okay, that's not as good, but as you can see, guys, it was near full, so that's a lot of points. Uh, I think that's my third rally on this guild expedition. I just, and I'm nearly done. So <laughs> there we go. Uh, when you uh, when you play smart, uh, you reduce your losses. Obviously, if you're sending T5, your T4 friends are gonna take uh, most of the um, the healing cost. Uh, these costs, these uh, troops in my infirmary, infirmary were from the last KVK. So, if you look at the last report, there you go, three hundred thousand T5 no losses uh in this scenario the t um yeah obviously the t2 in takes 100 percent, and then the rest comes from the t4 so be glad that you guys have t4 uh, fillers in your guild because they are protecting your t5 in this scenario so yeah guys that's about it i let me know in the comments below if you knew about this this thing I've known for a while. I just like <laughs> did not do a video on that. When I say for a while, maybe like two expeditions ago, uh, I was just too lazy to do a video. But uh, I was uh, I, I felt like I had some time, <laughs> and it needed to be told because there's a lot of bad players in Lords Mobile. So as long as you guys get the knowledge, it's good for everyone. Share this around. If you like this stuff, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Maybe one day we'll get to one million subs. I'm just kidding. We're not never gonna get there. I just wanna reach. Uh, I just wanna beat Brando Free to Play. <laughs> All right, Brando Free to Play. If you're watching this, I love you, buddy. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.